dear students the last topic under the topic linear asymptotes is intersection of a curve and its asymptotes the question here is determine the number of points of intersection when the given curve intersects with its asymptotes and also show that it lies on the ellipse so now we have to first of all find the asymptotes of the given curve and after finding the asymptotes we have to find the number of points of intersection of the curve when it intersects with its asymptotes and after doing so we should also show that those points lie on this ellipse so let us see how to solve this problem the first part the the solution of this problem can be segregated as part 1 and part 2 where in part 1 we shall first find all the asymptotes of this given curve so this is the given curve so now we have to take and write this equation first after that we should decide how many asymptotes it will have and as the next step we have to check whether there are any parallel asymptotes and after that we have to find whether there exist oblique asymptotes and we have to find all the asymptotes and after finding all the asymptotes we have to find the number of points of intersection of this curve with its asymptote i will tell you the formula to find the number of points of intersection and after doing so we have to show that those points lie on this ellipse so the um, there are finding the number of points of intersection of the curve with its asymptotes and showing that these points lie on the ellipse it will be part 2 so under part 1 we will be finding all the possible asymptotes of the given curve so let us do that now so under part 1 first of all we shall find all the asymptotes of the given curve so i have taken and written the given curve here we shall simplify this curve more further and we will write it so simply we will simplify in such a manner that we will multiply all these constants within the bracket and we will rewrite this equation so this will be written as 4x to the power 4 plus 4y to the power 4 minus 17x square y square Minus four x multiplied with four y square, so four four times is sixteen x y square minus into minus will become plus four x cube because x multiplied with x square gives us x cube plus two x square minus two multiplied by two is four is equal to zero. So we have rewritten the given curve. next step is we have to decide the number of asymptotes for this curve for which we have to write the highest degree of the given curve what is the highest degree so if we observe the highest degree curve a uh, highest degree of the given curve is 4 so therefore the number of asymptotes for this curve will be equal to the highest degree of the given equation and we observe that the highest degree of the given equation is 4 and so therefore number of asymptotes for this given curve is equal to 4 so there will be a maximum of 4 asymptotes next step is we have to check whether there exist parallel asymptotes or not for which we have to check the highest degree of x whether we have whether there exist uh, the uh, coefficient for x power 4 because the highest degree is 4 we have to check whether we have coefficient for x power 4 if we see here we have coefficient for x power 4 so therefore it exist which implies that there is no asymptote parallel to x axis and we shall now check whether there is any asymptote parallel to y axis for which we have to check whether coefficient for y power 4 exist in this curve so if we check coefficient for y power 4 also exists so therefore there is no asymptote parallel to both x axis as well as y axis 
so let us write that so i have taken and written here coefficient of x bar 4 and y bar 4 exist so therefore there exists no asymptote parallel to x axis and y axis respectively so therefore there exist all the four asymptotes are oblique asymptotes okay so all the four asymptotes are oblique and what is the general equation of the asymptote it is equal to y is equals to mx plus c now because we have four asymptotes we will be having four values of m and four and the corresponding four values of c which will be taken as m1 m2 m3 m4 and the corresponding values of c will be taken as c1 c2 c3 c4 now as the next step we have to find the values of m that is m1 m2 m3 and m4 let us see that now now we have to find the values of m for which we should write first write 4 uh, 5x 5 4 of x comma y so for what is 5 4 of x comma y all those terms with the degree 4 has to be taken and written now if we observe here what are the terms with degree 4 so if you see x power 4 y power 4 and here x square y square when you add the powers that is uh, the degree of x is 2 degree of y is 2 so total degree for this term is 4 so if we observe these three terms have degree 4 and what about this term x power 1 y power 2 so when we add 2 plus 1 is 3 and so the uh, degree of this term is 3 and this is also 3 so these two terms have degree 3 and this term has degree 2 and, and this is a constant term so the terms with degree 4 are represented as 5 4 of x comma y so we will take only these three terms and we will write now so it will be 4 x power 4 plus 4 y to the power 4 minus 17 x square y square now in this we should put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to m in order to find phi 4 of m and that will be equal to when you put x as 1 here you will be getting 4 and when you put y as m here you will be getting plus 4 m to the power 4 minus 17 multiplied with 1 square which is 1 multiplied with m square so it will be minus 17 m square rewriting in the order of the powers we get 5 4 of m to be equal to minus i mean uh, here first this is the highest power so 4 m to the power 4 next is this so minus 17 m square plus 4 the next step is we have to put 5 4 of m to be equal to 0 in order to find the values of m that is what is 5 4 of m it is 4 m to the power 4 minus 17 m square plus 4 is equal to 0 now this equation will have four roots now we have to find all the four roots where the first root we will be finding by using trial and error method so if we put m is equal to 1 are we getting 0 we have to check so if you put m as 1 we, it will be 4 minus 17 plus 4 which is not 1 uh, which is not 0 so 1 is not a root next we shall try whether 2 is a root of this equation for which we should substitute and see 2 for m and we should check whether we are getting 0 so if you do that 4 into 2 to the power 4 minus 17 into 2 square plus 4 we should do we should see whether this becomes 0 or not so that is equal to 4 multiplied with what is 2 to the power 4 it is 16 so multiplied with 16 minus 17 multiplied with 2 square is 4 plus 4 and that is equal to what is 4 multiplied with 16 it is 64 minus 7 multiplied with 4 is 68 plus 4 and so that's equal to 64 plus 4 68 minus 68 and so it's 0 so we can see that 2 is a root of this equation so m is equal to 2 is a root so first root we have found by trial and error method so uh, m equal to 2 is a root we have found this next we have to use synthetic division in order to find the remaining roots of this um, equation 
now we shall do the synthetic division so how we should write we should divide this polynomial by 2 but how we will be writing first we have to write the coefficient of m power 4 which is 4 next we should write the coefficient of m cube but m cube is not available in this term so we should put 0 next we should write the coefficient of m square what is that minus 17 next we should write the coefficient of m but m is not available in this equation so we should put 0 and at last we should write the constant term so 4 so remember m power 4 m cube m square m and the constant term we have to write in order if the terms are not available then we should put 0 in that place and now we have to divide this by 2 so how to do the synthetic division this 4 comes as it is here 4 2 times is 8 so that 8 we have to write now add these two 0 plus 8 is 8 8 2 times is 16 so write 16 here minus 17 plus 16 is minus 1 then minus 1 into 2 it is minus 2 so 0 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 multiplied with 2 is minus 4 okay yeah so 4 minus 4 is 0 so we have got 0 the remainder is 0 and obviously 2 is a root and this term will be a constant term and this term will be coefficient of m and this will be coefficient of m square and this will be coefficient of m cube so let us take and write that so how the equa uh, left, next equation will be the uh, left out equation will be we have to write 4 m cube plus 8 m square minus m and then the constant term minus 2 is equal to 0 now again we have to use synthetic division in order to find the next root already by trial and error method we observed that 1 is not a root let us check whether minus 1 is a root or not so if you put minus 1 here it will be minus 4 and then if you put minus 1 it's plus 8 plus minus into minus plus 1 minus 2 and we are not getting 0 so minus 1 is not a root next we have to try whether m equal to minus 2 is a root or not we have to check so if you uh, put uh, m equal to minus 2 it is 4 into minus 2 cube plus 8 into minus 2 square minus into minus 2 minus 2 we should check whether we are getting 0 if we get 0 then minus 2 is, will become a root so this will be 4 into um, it is uh, minus 8 plus 8 multiplied with minus into minus will become plus 2 2 times is 4 minus into minus plus 2 minus 2 that's equal to what is 4 multiplied with 8 it is minus 32 plus 4 multiplied with 8 so plus 32 plus 2 minus 2 we observe that it becomes 0 so therefore m equal to minus 2 is a root for the given equation is a root that is for this remaining equation that we have obtained m equal to minus 2 is a root now again we have to reduce this equation by using synthetic division okay now now we have to write the terms of this equation what are the terms the coefficient of m cube is 4 coefficient of m square is available it is 8 next is coefficient of m so minus 1 constant term which is minus 2 now we have taken m equal to minus 2 we have seen that it is a root so we have to divide this by 2 minus 2 so this 4 comes as it is 4 multiplied with minus 2 is minus 8 8 minus 8 is 0 0 multiplied with minus 2 it's 0 so minus 1 comes as it is minus 1 multiplied with minus 2 gives us 2 so minus 2 plus 2 we have got the remainder as 0 so we have confirmed that m equal to minus 2 is a root now this becomes a constant term so this becomes a constant term this becomes the coefficient of x and this becomes the coefficient of x square and so what will be the equation 4x square plus 0x now because it is 0 we need not write it minus 1 is equal to 0 instead of x we should put m because 
uh, we are solving it for m so 4m square minus 1 is equal to 0 is the left out equation now we have to solve this equation in order to find the other two roots so how to do that this 4m square minus 1 can be written as 2m the whole square because 4m square can be written as 2m so uh, 2m the whole square minus this one can be written as 1 squared is equal to 0 now this is like a squared minus b squared so we have to apply that formula so 2m plus 1 multiplied with 2m minus 1 is equal to 0 where a is 2m and b is 1 so a plus b multiplied with a minus b is equal to 0 so from this we get 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 and so the value of m will be equal to taking this one to the other side it becomes minus 1 divided by 2 so the value of m is equal to minus 1 by 2 now from this 2m minus 1 will be equal to 0 and the value of m will be equal to taking this 1 to the other side it becomes 1 divided by this 2 so 1 by 2 so all the four roots of m we have found which is m is equal to 2 is a root m is equal to minus 2 is a root and m equal to minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 are also roots so four roots we have obtained for m now we shall find the corresponding value of c for all this m now after finding the values of m1 m2 m3 and m4 we have to find the corresponding values of c1 c2 c3 c4 so the general formula to find c is equal to and we also observe that there are no repeated roots that is there uh, none of the roots are equal so we, all the roots are unequal and so the formula to find c will be equal to minus phi n minus 1 of m divided by phi n dash of m. Now here what is the value of n? n is equal to 4. So finally the formula for the uh, required uh, curve will be c equal to minus of phi n minus 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So phi 3 of m divided by phi 4 dash of m now already we have written phi 4 of m so phi, uh, phi 4 of m we have obtained it to be equal to so we have it here that is phi 4 of m is equal to 4 m power 4 minus 17 m square plus 4 so let us take that and write so 4 m to the power 4 and then minus 17 m square minus 17 m square plus 4 so this is phi 4 of m but what do we need phi 4 dash of m so phi 4 dash of m will be equal to differentiate this so 4 4 is a 16 m cube minus 17 into 2 34 m plus 4 when you differentiate it becomes 0 so it is 0 so this is 5 4 dash of m now we have to take and write 5 3 of m so what is 5 3 of m it is all those terms with degree 3 we have to take and write first to write this first we have to write 5 3 of x comma y that is all those terms with degree 3 let us take and write so all those terms with degree 3 is minus 16 xy square plus 4y uh, 4 x cube so this we have to take and write so i have taken and written that here now in this we have to put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to m in order to find phi 3 of m so what it will be if you put x as 1 minus 16 m square so minus 16 m square and then 4x cube so x is 1 so 1 cube is 1 only so 4 so plus 4 so this will be 5 3 of m now we have to substitute 5 3 of m and 5 4 dash of m here in order to find c so the value of c will be equal to minus of what is 5 3 of m minus 16 m square plus 4 divided by 5 4 dash of m is this so 16 m cube minus 34 m so using this we have to find the value of c 
yes the first value of m is what m is equal to 2 for that we have to find the value of c so c will be equal to minus of we have to put 2 over here so minus 16 multiplied with 2 square plus 4 divided by 16 multiplied with 2 cube minus 34 multiplied with 2 and so that is equal to minus of minus 2 twos are 4 4 multiplied with 16 is 64 and then plus 4 divided by uh, 2 cube is 8 16 multiplied with 8 is 128 minus 34 multiplied with 2 which is 68 so c will be equal to further minus of minus minus 64 plus 4 is minus 60 divided by 128 minus 68 is 60 so this gets cancelled and minus into minus becomes plus so it will be equal to 1 so therefore when m is equal to 2 the value of c is equal to 1 so this we have obtained so for this what will be the equation y is equal to mx plus c so it is 2x plus 1 and so therefore the as corresponding asymptote will be 2x bringing this y to the other side 2x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is the first equation of the asymptote similarly we shall find the other three equations so uh, for the other value i have worked out here for m equal to minus 2 we obtain the value of c to be equal to minus 1 so you can just go through how i have uh, calculated the value of c and I have obtained C to be equal to minus 1 in this case. And so what will be the asymptote of this? So in this case Y will be equal to MX plus C. So Y will be equal to M is minus 2X MX plus C. But what is C? It is minus 1. So from this taking these two terms to the other side we get 2X plus Y plus 1 to be equal to 0. This is the second equation of the asymptote. We shall find the third and fourth asymptote also in the same way. We observe that when m is equal to 1 by 2, the value of c is this. And when we simplify it, we get it to be equal to 0. You patiently go through this and check out how we are getting 0. So when m is equal to 1 by 2, the value of c is 0. In a similar way, uh, we can also find the equation of the asymptote y is equal to mx plus c which is 0 and so from this we will be getting 2y to be equal to x and we will get the equation of the asymptote to be x minus 2y to be equal to 0 always keep the x term positive the coefficient of x always you keep it positive so that we arrive at a correct uh, with the correct answer so uh, x minus 2y equal to 0 is the third asymptote and the fourth asymptote will be when x is e m is equals to minus 1 by 2, we have to check out what we get the, va get the value of c as. And for m is equals to minus 1 by 2, again we get the value of c to be equal to 0. You can just go through how we have got it as 0. So this is the simplification that I have shown. So kindly go through it. So the value of c is 0. So therefore m is equal to 1 by 2 yields us t c to be equal to 0. And so what will be the equation? of the asymptote so the c is 0 so the equation of the asymptote will be y is equal to minus 1 by 2x so mx plus c anyway it is 0 so 2y is equal to minus x so i told you always to keep x as positive so bring it to the left hand side and so finally the equation of the fourth asymptote will be x plus 2y is equal to 0 so this is the equation of the fourth asymptote so we have found all the four asymptotes which is part one of the solution now part two of the solution is we have to find the number of points of intersection and we have to show that that point lies on the given ellipse which is given in the question so let us do that now so i have taken and written all the four equations of the asymptotes Next, in order to find the points uh, in which the uh, the points of intersection lies, okay, in order to find that, first the formula is actually, so this is part 2. In, in part 2, we will be using the formula C minus A equal to 0. 
Now what is C? C is the curve given and A represents the combined equation of the asymptote. So C represents the curve. So what is the curve that is given? We shall take and write the equation of the curve that we have previously simplified. It is this curve. 4x power 4 plus 4y power 4 minus 17x square y square minus 16xy square plus 4x cube plus 2x square minus 4 equal to 0. So this is the curve C. So let us take this and write. So after writing the equation of the curve, next we have to write A. A is the combined equation of the asymptotes. That is, we have to multiply all the four asymptotes and we have to write. That is, the first asymptote is what? 2x minus y plus 1. So we have to write that 2x minus y plus 1 multiplied with what is the second asymptote this one 2x plus y plus 1 so 2x plus y plus 1 multiplied with the third asymptote this one x minus 2y multiplied with the fourth asymptote x plus 2y is equal to 0 so uh, this is the curve c and this is the combined equation of the asymptote now we shall simplify this a. How that is we shall multiply these two and let us write. In a similar way let us multiply these two also. So first if we multiply these two what do we get a as? That is let me write here 2x should be multiplied with all the three terms. So 2x into 2x 4x square. 2x has to be multiplied with y. So 2x into y plus 2 x y 2x multiplied with 1 so plus 2x minus y has to be multiplied with all the three terms so minus 2xy minus y square minus y and then 1 has to be multiplied so plus 2x plus y plus 1 so this is what we get when we multiply these two and this has to be multiplied with these two terms so first we shall multiply these two. So x multiplied with x is x square. x multiplied with 2y. So plus 2xy. Then minus 2y multiplied with x. So minus 2xy. Minus 2y multiplied with 2y. So minus 4y square is equal to 0. Now we shall simplify the uh, and we shall write. So a will be. First, we will simplify this. We have 4x square. Let us check whether we have any other square term for x. No. So, it is 4x square. And then we have plus 2xy minus 2xy. So, this and this gets cancelled. And then we have minus y square. Only one term is there. So, minus y square. Here we have plus 2x. Here we have plus 2x. So, we will be getting plus 4x and then uh, all this is done here we have minus y and here we have plus y and this and this gets cancelled and finally the left out is plus 1 multiplied with here let us check we have x square and here plus 2x minus 2x x y uh, plus 2x y minus 2x y gets cancelled minus 4 y square is equal to 0 Further, we will multiply these two and let us finish the general equation of A. So, 4x square has to be multiplied with x square. So, 4x to the power 4. 4x square multiplied with 4y square. So, minus we have here. So, minus 4, 4 times is 16x square, y square. Now, next, minus y square multiplied with this gives us minus y square x square minus into minus plus 4 y to the power 4 next 4 x multiplied with this so plus 4 x cube plus into minus minus 4 4 is 16 x y square and then finally we have a 1 so 1 multiplied with x square is x square so plus x square plus into minus minus 4y square is equal to 0. 
so finally the equation of combined equation of the asymptote a will be we have to check whether we have any x power 4 term so only this term is available so 4 x to the power 4 and then uh, do we we have uh, plus 4 y to the power 4 and then we can see that we have x square y square y square x square term here so when we add it we get minus 17 x squared y square and then um, then we have this term so we shall write that so minus 16 x y square so this term is also done so plus 4 x cube plus x square minus 4 y square is equal to 0 so finally we have obtained uh, the combined equation of the asymptote now we have the curve c over here and we have the combined equation of the asymptote now we have to subtract these two so first what we will do we will write the curve c so what is the curve c that we will take and write here so curve c is so 4 x to the power 4 plus 4 y to the power 4 minus 17 x square y square minus 16 x y square plus 4 x cube and then plus 2 x square minus 4 so this is c so c minus a we have to do so uh, we will subtract this one that is 4 x to the power 4 minus into plus so minus 4 y power 4 minus into minus plus because i am uh, subtracting okay so it becomes plus here so 17 x square y square minus into minus plus 16 x y square uh, minus into plus so minus 4 x cube minus x square minus into minus plus 4 y square finally that is equal to 0 so when you subtract it we see that these two terms gets cancelled this also gets cancelled this gets cancelled this also gets cancelled 4 x cube minus 4 x cube i mean plus and minus so this also gets cancelled and 2 x square minus x square is x square and then we have this plus 4 y square minus 4 is equal to 0 so from this we get the equation to be x squared plus 4 y square is equal to 4 which is the equation of the ellipse given in the question that is in the question this is the equation that we have to prove so we have proved this and one more question is determine the number of points of intersection of this curve uh, with the in that intersects with its asymptotes so the number of points of intersection the formula for that is n multiplied with n minus 2 but what is the value of n n represents the highest degree of the curve so for the given curve n is equal to 4 so what this will be equal to 4 multiplied with 4 minus 2 and so that will be equal to 4 multiplied with 4 minus 2 is 2 which is equal to 8 so therefore the number of points of intersection uh, is 8 that is there exist 8 points of intersection between the curves and its asymptotes and all those points of intersection lies on this ellipse this also we have shown so this is a significant 15 mark question hope you have understood this thank you